Hey, I'm Anthony. And I'm Andres. And thanks for watching our video. We know you, you guys have a lot of questions to ask, and so this is what we made that video for. So to start off, the magnets. The magnets are called neodymium and ceramic. Yeah, well, starting with the neodymium, this is a, a half inch long on each dimension. They're cubes. And then for the ceramics, it is one by seven eighths this way, three eighths this way, and then seven eighths this way. So just want to clarify that. Okay, then onto the wood. This whole wood structure here is 24 inches long. It's 24 right here. 24 inches. Yeah, and then these are about 20, 23 inches because this part right here, they don't extend the full length, so that way we could keep these in place, the rods in place. And pretty much we've been getting a lot of questions about these. They're, they're just rods. There's nothing real special to them. They're just wooden rods. We just put a lot of graphite on them. Yeah, that's why they appear like to be the silver a little bit, just because we've graphited it a lot. Then they just slide in here. And right here, if you can see these little circles, we got, um, we drilled holes in these because you can't really use metal screws or metal nails in this situation because it'll throw off the magnetic field. So what you want to do is uh, we used uh, circular dowel rods and then just place them inside with like a rubber mallet. That way you can get it all stabled out. And then we just cut the excess off. Yep. Okay, and then for these ceramic ma magnets, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 of them. Yes, there is indeed 18. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then to get these ceramic um, magnets in place, we use this double-sided tape here. We pretty much just laid a bunch of strips down and we just pressed the magnets in place. So then... They just stayed. And then for these ceramic magnets, we to line them up, the angles that we lined them up were it was a 45 degree angle from from here there's a 45, like it's a 90 degree angle, 45, 45. So that, and then after we set that one in place, we use that as our marker to line up the rest of them. So that's that. And then this is uh, five and a half inches long this way and then this tiny chamber right here that we use to put the magnet in it's five eighth of an inch so so the magnet just barely fits in so I'll uh, leave your comments and questions below uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can and stay uh, subscribe to our videos that way you can see our upcoming videos including the levitating magnet